Greetings everybody, thanks for here. Welcome to first proper episode When the world was new, and dreams had not yet receded from the waking day, dragons ruled the earth. The first dragon was a queen named Mim, and she was the keeper of all who dreamed. Mim circled the world and held her tail in her mouth. As long as Queen Mim held her tail this way, there would be a balance between life and death, and good and evil, and the dreaming would flourish. She watched those who dreamed with care, and all living creatures lived together in peace and harmony, until one day, a spirit known only as the Lord of the Locust became unhappy. The Locust was a nightmare being without shape or form, who could exist only in the spirit world. To enter this world, he would have to take possession of a mortal's flesh. The Locust chose the most powerful mortal of all, Mim, Queen of Dragons. When the Locust entered her mind, the Queen went mad. Balance was lost and the world grew dark. The dream had become a nightmare. To save the world, the other dragons confronted her, and a terrible battle ensued. As the dragons fought, they crashed back and forth, pushing up mountains and carving out valleys. They knew it would be the end of their beloved men, but for the good of the world and to destroy the true enemy, they turned their queen into stone, trapping the Lord of the Locust inside of her until the end of times. Later, as the land cooled, the valley was born, but never again would the world be perfect, for the Locust lies hidden just below the surface. Filled with bitterness, the Locust bends the minds of people to his will, and always he creates suffering. Down through the ages, many have tried to kill the Locust and free the Queen, but all have failed, and the land remains in darkness and fear, waiting for the day a hero will come and save them. Yeah, as you can hear, the voice acting is not particularly great, and its quality isn't too... Uh... But yeah, Bone, this game is based upon a comic, apparently, I don't She'll know. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain Shut when up! she comes. Smiley Bone, Phony Bone, am I gonna have to separate you two? Hey, Phony, the coast is clear. Look at him. We got chased out of Boneville two weeks ago, and he's still moping around. Oh, well, I guess you can whine all you want when you're the richest guy in the whole town. Ah! Oops, silly me, X riches. They can't do this to me. You can't do anything to a rich person that he doesn't want. Oh, a couple of shady business deals went sour. Is that any reason to run the most beloved bone in Boneville out on a rail? Yes. Beloved? The mayor declared a school holiday just so the kids could come and throw rocks at you. Oh, bad news, Phone. We're out of water. That's it! That's the last straw! Don't get mad at Smiley Bone. This mess isn't his fault. That's right! The townspeople aren't mad at us! They ran you out of town because you're a selfish little greed bag! I can't believe this! I'm gonna die out here! Hey, Phone, where are we? Get us out of here! I can't. We're off the map. I think we're lost. Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, set up. I mean, music. Let's make it even. <coughs> I don't think. Okay, that's good. He needs to cheer up. Try thinking about something besides your money. Uh, take me, for example. I never had a penny in my life, but I'm not sad. I got no responsibilities. I'm free. Free as a bird. A bird? Ha! More like a mangy stray dog who doesn't eat very often. Well, true, but you get my point. I'm a respected community leader, a shining pillar of moral strength. How could they do this to me? Well, at first they... Who asked you?
Those mountains look kind of far away. Yeah. There might be shelter in the mountains. Hmm, nothing under there. This desert is full of rocks. I think it's some kind of old paper. It's stuck. What you doing, phone bone? I'm trying to get this thing out from under this rock. What is it? I'll tell you after I get it out. Ooh, let me know if it's a piece of pie. I love a piece of pie right now. Just stand up, will you? Sure thing, cuz. Let me help you with that. Huh, looks like it's some kind of map. A map? I'm saved! Give it here! Give me a dollar first. What? Okay... Don't be so cheap. We're lost in the desert. Give him a dollar. What does being lost in the desert have to do with anything? I'm not giving up what I have left for that catawallin' hobo. Catawallin' hobo? Do you really hate Smiley's music so much? What are you, crazy? How can you stand it? At least he's over that old gray mare phase. Come on, phony. Don't be so cheap. Cheap? I'm not cheap. Just frugal. Like the time you started that catering company and all you served was hot dogs and baked beans? Beef with honeyed legumes, thank you. And what about the cheap paper plates you served it on? It looked sturdier in the catalog. Should have told that to Betsy Bone and her guests. Oh, is it my fault they wore white at the wedding? I'm not giving up what I have left for that catawallin hobo. Boy, you really do hate Smiley's music. What are you, crazy? How can you stand it? At least he's over that old gray mare phase. Are you sure it's a map of the area? Yeah, there's the mountains over there. How about the old gray mare? My favorite. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she used to be. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she used to be. Many long years ago. Not until I get my dollar! Here, Smiley. Here's a dollar. Thanks! Here's the map. Let me see that. Let's see now. What? What is this? This map looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old! It's worthless! It's worth a dollar! That's it! I'm gonna kill him! Smiley, what's that noise? Is it the townspeople? No, no people. Just locusts. Really neat, huh? Ah! All right, so left, right, and left click. Ah! I can't see! <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! You guys still there? Smiley Bone! 
Stupid bugs come from. Coming for how long? Why me? Ah! Phony. What the hell is going on? I mean, am I not supposed to escape? It seems like. It. Light the torch. Is it him? Is it the one we seek? This is not the one. He doesn't bear the star. Eh, kill him anyway. He will be our supper. Who's gonna be your supper? Ah! The Great Red Dragon! Oh, my head. I must have been knocked out. Where is everybody? Did Phony Bone and Smiley leave me? Hmm. As usual, I suppose it's up to me to save them and get us all back home to Boneville. Just once, I wish they'd try to save themselves. Say, where did this torch come from? I wonder, right? Hello! This is one of Smiley's cigar stubs. If I can find more of these, maybe they'll lead me to Smiley. These cigar butts smell pretty bad. Oh shit. As I said, I probably won't be recording Texas Hold'em and whatnot. Or Poker Night Out the Inventory. Which... Because I'm bad at cards, like this is completely not my thing. Um, I wish Smiley had dropped breadcrumbs instead. <laughs> yeah. That's completely not my thing. Playing cards, I never was good at poker. And maybe the only thing that could be in interesting would be if uh, like to listen to characters. But for that, there are like many other videos on YouTube. I'm pretty sure. Gross. Also, as you can see, the environments are not particularly great. Morning sure comes quick around here.
Hey, it's green down there. I made it out of the desert. Yeah, but what about the other guys? Me. Whoops! Hello. What are you supposed to be? I'm Ted. I'm a bug. Where am I? This here's our valley. Pretty, huh? Have you seen my cousins around? Cousins? What do they look like? Well, sort of like me, I guess. Ain't seen no one like you before, mister. Maybe Thorn has seen them? Who's this Thorn? He's not another bug, is he? Oh, <laughs> nah. Thorn knows just about everything in the whole world. I don't know my way around here. How am I supposed to find this Thorn? Uh, Thorn's usually at the farm or the spring. Getting to the spring is real easy. Just cross the river, follow the path, go to the bottom of the waterfall and cross the river again, then cross the possum clearing. You can't miss it. Possum's clearing? Yeah, that's where Mrs. Possum and the Possum Youngins live. Nice folks. The little ones will love you if you stop and play a game with them. You sure this Thorn is gonna be able to help me? Oh yeah, of course. I bet Thorn will know just what to do. Hey, how do I get to that spring again? What? Weren't you listening? Just cross the river, follow the path, go to the bottom of the waterfall and cross the river again, then cross the Possum's clearing. It's easy. Um, I don't see a way to cross this river. Oh, <laughs> you can't get across the rocks like I can, can you? Sometimes being small is an awful nice thing to be. Tell you what, my brother's on the other side of the river. If you want, I'll go over and get him to help out. What do you say? What is your brother gonna do? Now don't you worry, my brother and I make a good team. Just watch and see. What's your name? Phone Bone. Okay, Bone, don't worry, we'll get you across this river in no time. Thanks, I'll wait here for you. I notice you always seem to jump in threes. Little, little, big. Yep. Okay, little, little, big. Boing! Boing! I've been asking to meet you. Seems a decent guy, that phone bone. We'll help him right out. It's a big old dead tree. What's your point? I need you over here. On my way. Cool. The bugs made me a bridge. He's a good guy. Always looking out for him. Interesting character. Um, thanks for the help. If you're a friend of Ted's, then you're okay by me.
So you're, uh, Ted's big brother? Yep, that's me. And you better not mess with Ted, or you'll find out just how Big Big is. Oh, don't worry. It's okay, big brother. He seems okay, guy. All right, then. I don't suppose you've, uh, seen my cousins around here? No, and I hope I don't. I don't like strangers in our valley, especially if they're troublemakers. Aw, Bone's cousins aren't troublemakers, are they, Bone? Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, Bone. Happy to help. Is this your, um, brother? Oh yeah, big brother. This is Phone Bone. Nice to meet you. He's actually a real nice guy. Just don't make him mad. I got anger issues. Once he gets fired up, he'll charge at anything, <laughs> won't you? Yep, pretty much. Be seeing you, Ted. See you around, Bone. Stay out of trouble. Okay, I guess I have to go in the path. Oh, there they are. It's him. Quick, comrade. Get off your fat butt and make us a cooking fire. Well, well. <laughs> Look who joined us for supper. <laughs> go start the cooking fire. No. You call me fat. No! What do you mean, no? And it's not the first time you've done it either. You will go nowhere, small mammal. We're going to make you into a nice stew. I wouldn't let your friend call you fat. You don't look fat to me. Thank you. There. Good. Can we eat him now, please? Do you really think I'm fat? Comrade, this is not the time for this. If you think I'm fat, just say so. Please. <laughs> you will go nowhere, small mammal. We're going to make you into a nice stew. You know, us bones are awfully fattening. Doesn't matter to me at all. Why should it? He's not the one who's fat. Comrade, please. I'm hungry. If you think I'm fat, just say so. Please, comrade, I do... You will go nowhere, small mammal. I mean, for fuck's sake, to make why you doesn't it nice give me an option to... Honestly, I think he's fatter than you are. What? Now you think I'm fat too? Who cares what he thinks? He's supposed to be our supper. So you don't care that he thinks I'm fat? That's not what I meant. If you think I'm fat, just say so. Please, comrade, I do not think you're fat. Then why do you always call me fat? What always? I do not always call you fat. Tell you the truth. Sometimes it gets a little much to take. Comrade, be reasonable. I, I wasn't thinking. This isn't the time. Okay, so you have I to wait. I take it back. You're not fat. Too late. I know your true feelings. Please, comrade. Let's just prepare him for supper. In a tasty quiche? Quiche? Imagine what King Doc would say if he heard you. Let us, please, just chop him up for the stew. Again with the stew! Why can't we cook him in a nice quiche? Please, comrade, there's nothing wrong with stew! I don't remember the last time I had a quiche. I'm only trying to protect your reputation. You mean your reputation. Have you no pride? Oh, please. Monsters do not eat quiche! What do you know about being a real monster? 
What did you say? What? Me? Nothing. You don't think I'm scary, do you? Oh no, you're terrifying. Truly? Positively blood-curdling. Well, I do try my best to keep in shape. Unlike myself, is that what you are saying? <laughs> I'm not the touchy one. So now I'm fat and touchy? That's not what I meant. Can't we just make him into a... Peace? <laughs> Enough from you! Well, maybe you should think before calling me fat. Come, can't we just make him into a stew now? And you keep insisting on the stew. What is wrong with stew? We eat nothing but stew. That's what's wrong. Stew is a perfectly hearty and respectable dish for a monster. I would still prefer a quiche. Ugh, not the quiche again. Why do you keep insisting on the stew? I think a quiche would be lovely. Well, but quiche, it's just not right. Yes, yes. Those rat creatures would have to be pretty stupid to follow me onto this frail little branch. Stupid, stupid rat creatures! Small mellow. What do you say, comrade? Shall we have a nice hot stew? Or should we eat him raw? Mmm. I say we bake him in a quiche. You know how much I like quiche. It seems to me you boys have a short memory. The dragon! Hello there. What were those things? You could call them rat creatures. Pretty far south.